have another really fun um, tutorial for you guys. This one is really super easy and very simple and it doesn't take very much time at all to complete. Um, so this is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to make. It's just a really um, cute and simple Santa wreath to hang on your front door or um, somewhere in your home for Christmas. Um, so if you guys want to learn how to make this, then come check out the tutorial. this tutorial you're going to need a wire wreath form. The one that I'm using is a 12 inch wreath form. Um, you can get them in various different sizes but this is the smallest one that you can get. Um, so find yourself one of these. And then you're also going to need some 4 inch wide red burlap. If you can find a bigger roll, then that would be ideal so that you don't have to um, deal with the ends so much. Um, but I couldn't find the bigger rolls, so I'm just going to be using these smaller rolls that I found. And either option will do. Depending on how full you want your wreath to be, you may only need two of these, but I'm going to use three because I want mine to be nice and full and ruffly. So, just take your roll of burlap and leave it on the spool. Um, this is going to help keep your burlap nice and neat while you're working. And then just find the end and just pull it out from the roll a little bit so you have room to work. Then you're going to take the corners of your end and you're going to fold them into the center once and then twice so that you end up with a longer pointed end. Now you're going to take that pointed end and you're going to weave it through the rings of your metal wreath form. So just start with weaving it over top of the outer ring so that when you get to the center you're pulling your end through and under the very inner ring. And you just want to pull it so that you have a nice little tail and this is going to secure your burlap ribbon in place. Then just push it down to one of the bars that cross over the rings. From here you're going to take the length of your burlap and you're going to fold it under your rings. You're then going to push your burlap up through the slots that are created by the rings so that you can create a loop just like this. And then you're going to do the same for the center slot so that you have two loops and then one last time for the very inner slot and you're going to end up with three loops. So then you're just going to flip the length of your burlap back out towards the outer ring so that it's going underneath all the rings once again and you're going to start pulling those loops through the slots again going in the opposite direction. You're just going to continue going back and forth under your wreath with your burlap and pulling those loops through until you fill up each section of your wire wreath. So as you can see here, we're starting to get that sort of ruffly, um, balloony effect that we're trying to achieve. If any of your wire rings are visible between your loops, you're just going to adjust your burlap um, so that you can hide these. When your wreath starts to get really full, the burlap is going to scrunch together real nicely and it's going to hide this anyways, but if you notice that the rings are showing through, then just adjust so that you can hide it. So you're just going to continue to go back and forth under your wreath with your burlap making these loops until you've got your section filled up. Once that section is filled up, you're just going to continue on through to the next section and do the exact same thing, pulling loops through the slots back and forth. the smaller spools like I am, you should be able to fill up two sections with one roll of burlap. 
At the end of your roll, you're going to need to hide that end and you're just going to loop it through the rings and then tuck it in. Once your wreath is done, you're not going to be able to notice any of these little ends hanging out. Um, and if you do, then you can just tuck them in behind. So once you finish one spool, you're just going to continue on with your next spool, starting it the same way that you started the first one, with that pointed end weaved through the rings. And then from there, just continue to loop your burlap through the rings back and forth until you've filled up your entire wreath. Okay, so now my wreath is full. I've used all three rolls of my burlap and mine is nice and fluffy and ruffly and I think it turned out great. And so this is what the back looks like and this should stay. You don't need to put any glue or anything like that and if you ever decide you want to reuse the burlap for something else then you can easily um, remove it from the wreath form. If you do feel like you'd like to keep this more secure and add some glue then feel free to do that on the back um, here and there just to keep things where they are but this will stay on this wreath form it won't come off unless um, it's being mishandled so we're going to move on to the next step and what you're going to need is just a piece of black ribbon I just bought a meter and that's plenty and you're also going to need a piece of velcro this piece is going to wrap around the wreath and we're going to secure it with the velcro so that it's hidden be behind one of the sides of our wreath. The other thing you're going to need for this step is just a piece of foam core board or a piece of cardboard or anything like that that you can make yourself a buckle for this um, sort of Santa's belt. I'm just going to be using a scrap piece of foam core board. So I'm just going to get my cutting board, exacto knife, a pen, and a ruler. Now my foam core board has a grid on it already, so it's going to be a little bit easier for me. But if you don't have a grid on um, your cardboard or a foam core board, then all you're going to need is a ruler to measure it out. So, as you can see here, this ribbon that I've got is one inch wide ribbon. So we want the hole in the center of our buckle to be a one inch hole. So we're just going to mark off a one inch square for the center of our buckle and then I'm just going to measure out a half an inch border all the way around. So as you can see here, this is the shape of my buckle. So it's a little one inch square in the center and then like I said a half inch border all the way around. So I'm just going to start by cutting out the center and then I'm going to cut away the excess around the edges using my X-Acto knife. Just as a kind reminder, be very careful using your knife. So now I've got a nice little square. So from here, we're just going to need to get this painted and I'm going to be using some of this gold spray paint that I already had. It creates a really nice gold look and I'm just going to go do that and I will be right back. Okay, so now I've got my buckle painted in my gold spray paint and it looks really awesome. So now just grab your ribbon. As I said, I have a meter of this black ribbon. You can get it um, by the meter at Michael's. So just take your wreath and figure out where you want your ribbon to cross over. Then you're just going to flip your wreath over on top of your ribbon. And then you're going to pull your ribbon around your wreath. And you're going to pull your ribbon so that it's really, really nice and tight because you want it to cinch around um, your wreath around that burlap. And then you're going to cut it so that you have an overlap of about an inch and a quarter around there. So the 
then you can just put your wreath aside for now. And we're just going to focus on this ribbon. We're just going to take a lighter and we're just going to singe the ends of our ribbon so that um, they will not fray. They'll stay um, this size and they won't come apart. So you just run your um, flame across the ends of your ribbon just to get rid of those frayed edges and be um, very careful obviously you don't want to burn your ribbon you don't want to burn yourself um, so again another little safety reminder be careful with fire so from here you're just going to take your piece of velcro make sure that it's cut nice and evenly and you're going to want that to be about an inch and a quarter long and this velcro here is an inch wide as well um, so just try to find yourself something that is as wide as the ribbon that you're going to use and then just um, tidy up those edges and then we're just going to glue a ribbon on either side of our velcro so that it makes a nice little belted loop I'm going to use my glue gun since this is simple enough and um, and much quicker than having to sew it. And the reason we've opted to use Velcro is so that if you ever decide that you want to do something else with your wreath, you want to put different decorations on it, then this is very simple and easy to remove and change up your decorations. And so now we have our Santa belt ready to be put onto our wreath. Just pull it so that the Velcro is attached behind one of the edges of the wreath so that you won't be able to see the Velcro through the hole. And then just adjust your burlap and your ribbon um, so that it looks sits best and so that the ribbon is nice and centered. And then from here just flip it over and if you need to make any further adjustments then, then go ahead and do that. And then from here we're going to attach our gold buckle by putting a bead of glue on either edge behind the buckle where it's going to sit on the ribbon. Then we're just going to very carefully and as quickly as possible so that glue doesn't cool, place the buckle centered on the ribbon so that it's nice and straight. And there you go, that's our Santa wreath. Once that buckle is cooled and firmly secured to the belt, you're ready to hang your wreath. So I hope you guys like this tutorial on how to create this really super simple and cute Santa wreath. If you guys did as usual, don't forget to click that little thumbs up to show some support for this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up with when I'm posting my new videos. And don't forget that you can find me other places all over the internet, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and a bunch of other places, and as usual, I'll be leaving those links in the description of this video so that you guys can easily find me in any one of those places. Also, don't forget to go check out my blog. I've got some other things that I'm posting there in between videos, um, so you'll want to check that out, thecreativeglow.blogspot.com. I'd love to have you guys over there. If you guys do decide to do your own Santa wreath, and you've got Instagram, just take a little picture of it, post it on there, and tag me in the description so that I can see your creations. That's it for this video. I hope you guys will come and join me again for my next video. I'll see you then, and I hope you all have a super awesome day. Bye!